Hey everyone, welcome to a Spirit Island run through. This is the gotta go fast version of the game. We are playing with the Blitz scenario. The scenario Blitz is pretty special because all powers are fast. And if you haven't seen Spirit Island before, if something is fast, it acts before the invaders. And when you act before the invaders, it gives you a lot of flexibility in what you're doing. And it's really, really handy to get things going fast. Also, on the downside is that all fast powers are already fast, so what do they get? Well, powers that were already fast, or made fast, cost one less energy. And so that means that you can play a lot of cards that you normally wouldn't be able to uh, on spirits like Lightning, because Lightning has a very low energy threshold. So it's really fun to just jump right in and start being able to earn money off of literally just playing cards fast. Unfortunately, the downside to this is that you get one additional explorer per board. So you have to deal with additional explorers, which is the, uh, a trade-off based on going fast. And if it becomes blighted, which unfortunately it might, we're going to have to put one less blight per player on that board. The setup, though, is that we put one extra per player on the blight card. So we actually have a little bit at the beginning... Uh, before the Blight card, after the Blight card, we have to deal with it a little bit more stressfully. And they also get an additional set of actions at the end of setup. So, they're going to start out super fast, hence the word Blitz. So, you can see that uh, we've already explored the wetlands, and we have to add another explorer, and I think I'm just going to put it in this one. Again, if you haven't watched the stream before, it's always best to concentrate all of the... the invaders in one land just because you don't want to have to deal with more than one land <laughs> it explores it, it explores all in one land it's a good thing especially when we have thunder speaker so we'll do that and all one land we probably want to avoid this one just because uh we have a blight here we can probably sacrifice this one early we're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of stuff early uh, just because of what the the game is for this one so like again we already start with a whole area here basically ruined and so we just have to sacrifice it and hope that we can deal with it now all right all right we have to add another one yikes okay we'll just let that one go and i guess again we we can concentrate things in this land that's not bad all right so now we get to grow and with Thunderspeaker, you always want to be doing things as quickly as possible, and so that means you want to get these out. Unfortunately, I want to Manifestations of Power and Glory on my first turn, which means I'm probably going to have to do this one. I want two card plays, and I want to put my presence there for reasons. So I want to play that, and this is going to be fast. And I believe I'm going to need to play a defense because I want to be able to defend this land so I want to play words of warning again it's it's one cheaper normally it costs one so it costs zero now so it's super cheap for me and again this is going to be fast with lightning we're a little bit different here I'm gonna want to get into land number two so that I'll have the ability to see all lands in the on my side of the island so I'm definitely going to be doing this one first and I really don't want to focus too heavily on the top track, the energy track, because I'm going to be getting a lot of energy just off of card plays. Uh, all of our cards are fast or can be made fast. So relatively speaking, these are pretty cheap, which is nice. Um, <laughs> so we should get either a... Well, this is actually pretty interesting because these are technically slow, but they are fast. Huh. Learn something new every day. <laughs> so we're going to get... I actually need to kill this uh, town right away, and I need energy. I have one coming in, but that's from there. So I'm going to want to just do these right here. Like this. Okay, so that unlocks the ability to get two energy. I get my two energy, and I'm going to play Shatter Homesteads. And... Do I play Lightning's Boon? Because things are already fast. I'm curious what this will do, because I'm not sure. 
uh, like this is kind of a, a waste of a card right now, but I just I, I want to see what it'll do. Okay, so I'm good with all of our card plays here. Let's see what happens. So, do I get a refund? I don't think I do. All powers are fast, which were already fast, or made fast, cost one less energy. So, if I target you and make this one fast, well, that's, well, I want to defend here. Oh, I can't defend here. I need to move. So I'm going to gather the warriors. So I'm going to gather. I'm going to go one, two. I can only gather two. And I'm going to gather both of these. I'm not going to push. And I'm going to manifestations of power and glory right here. And deal one, two, three. And that card, just for... Uh, sake of looking at this. Each Dahan deals damage equal to number of presents, which is a lot of presents. So it's four damage right here. So I can kill this and this. And oops, you know what? I needed one more. So I'm going to have to defend here. Just so that I don't lose even more Dahan. Because Thunderspeaker's special power is I uh, if it ravages for every Dahan that died, I'm going to have to destroy one of my presents. So this is going to get hurt, but such is life, I suppose. Um, ooh, wait, no. I still have this power available. Undo. There we go. I can just kill this town. There we go. And now I can defend in this land. There we go. Now we're, now we're playing with fire. Now we're playing with fire. All right. For those of you just joining, we're playing the scenario Blitz on uh, Thunderspeaker and Lightning. This is the gotta go fast variety, I think. So that's pretty fun. Uh, we're going to shatter homesteads. I think I'm just going to shatter homesteads right here because this will get rid of this town really quick, get us lots of fear, and this explorer will die pretty fast. We're kind of sacrificing this land right here, but there's not much that I can do about that. Um, so over here is ravaging. I'm going to deal two damage to this, kill that town. Alrighty. We knew that was going to ravage. Really nothing that we can do about that. This is going to build, this is going to build, this is going to build. And that's going to be a problem. Okay, jungles. Explore into all the jungles. Let's see what happens. Oh, we have to add an extra... Always add an extra explorer. That's going to be a pain... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I add it in the land with blight, or do I end it in the land without blight? I mean, either way, I'm. This is not great. Probably here, so that I can deal with this right now. Yep. And when in doubt, always towards the coast. All right grow in power. I'm going to get these going. I already got my two card play, so I want to get up to two energy here so that I can start branching into major powers. Right now it's I, I don't have any major powers and I want them desperately, especially fast powers because they're cheaper and they're always fast. <laughs> so let's see here. Air, I want to put you down. Where do I want to put? I want to put you down there. I want to put you down there. There's a thunderstorm outside. So if all of a sudden this stream just goes, you know what happened. Thunder speaker has spoken. <laughs> uh, jokes. They're funny. All right. Playing both of these. Wow. That was a big piece of thunder. So I'll be able to gather, but I won't be able to destroy anything this turn. I can kill one explorer, and I'm going to want to do that for sure. I can push a ton of Dahan, which I'm probably going to want to do all of them into here. Ooh, no, not into here. This is... Yikes. I just realized I'm in trouble here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I need to defend here. Because this is this is not defended. Well, I mean I could risk a fear card here, because I, I only need one. Jeez, Thunder Speaker. Lightning, lightning and thunder. What well, how fitting for a for a knight of Spirit Island. Let's see. I kind of think I have to rely on this fear card right now. It's not great. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Ah, uh, yep. Because I really need to get my lightning going. I can't just reclaim here. I have to take a down, a, like a turn for downing here because I need to get this unlocked. Um, let's branch out into here so that we can see even more things because uh, lightning is going to have to pull its weight quite a bit here. Um, things are still expensive, but I feel like we need to do this just so that we have it. All right, and we're going to play both of these. Well, <laughs> well, 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 how the turntables finish raging. We'll finish raging storm. We're going to put the raging storm on those explorers that are out in the thunderstorm right now. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to do this here so that we can kill all of the mini me's here. Um, sudden ambush. Oh, I can actually just pull out of here so I don't actually die. So this is going to blight as well, but I can kill the thing that's here. That's much better. Okay, so I'm going to gather one into here. So I'm going to gather this one. With following with this guy. I needed to get them out of here so that they didn't ravage it. And then I will push... Do I want to push Dahan? Where do I want to push them? I probably want to push these guys into here so that I'm all in one land. Again, I, I want to be all in one land if possible. Or I could just get two fear. Why not just get two fear? I think two fear is the better one just because we have this going for us. Let's do that. Two fear. We'll get a fear card, pushing us more towards the, the end of the game. And I think the most effective use of Raging Storm right now is in this jungle, land number eight. Again, if you're just joining us, feel free to post in the comments. Uh, they will show above right my head so that people watching on YouTube at home will be able to chime in and help out. I, I'm very happy for the help because right now it is difficult. I am having a bad time. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're doing that, and Harbingers of Lightning. So we definitely want to push Dahan. Where do we want to push them? We probably want to get them out of this land because this is gonna ravage. Although we could just kill one here. We could let one of these die. Um, yeah, let's push out of here and push both of them into here, which will still get us our fear because that's what Harbingers of Lightning does. It lets us one fear if you pushed into any Dahan into a land with towns or cities, and that does have a city. And I can gather. I can gather more things. Must be fast or can be fast? All powers are fast. So if I don't use this right now, it's done. Interesting. Although I wouldn't be so sad if this didn't happen right now. I think I'm fine with passing on this one right now. Because I don't want to go into here... Because it'll just everything will just die, and I don't I don't want things to die. It turns out that when things die in Spirit Island, it's not a good thing. Well, invaders, you want invaders to die. Everything else can just kind of be their own thing. All right, I'm just gonna see what happens because I don't actually know. So we're gonna just finish using powers, and we're gonna get a fear card. So I would have been fine. <laughs> What's great though is this actually defended fully and was able to kill the invaders here. So that's really good. That's very, very good. They explore into 
the sands. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. And we have to add an extra explorer. Is what I say to you, explorers. Stop coming in and exploring. Well, let's concentrate things. Why not? Let's do it. We're doing it. Concentrate, concentrate. All right, we need to reclaim because we do not have any cards at all. And the only way that uh, Thunder Speaker and Lightning can get new cards is unfortunately through reclaiming. So we'll do both of them here and we'll do both of them here. But what's great is that see how I have all of this energy banked already and I have two extra coming to me? I want to get a major power right away uh, for Thunder Speaker because... I'm going to be able to do some really good things here. Oh, wow. Those are some really good cards. Especially Tsunami. Because I can do Tsunami fast. And because I have the ability to move Dahan all over the place, I can literally ignore that Destroy 2 Dahan. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't match any of my things, but... On the other hand, Talons of Lightning matches two of my symbols is already fast, so it's cheaper. And I should be able to play... I should be able to power it up completely. And it's an incredibly powerful card. Especially because most of... So this is can only target mountains or, or wetlands, so I can only target mountains or wetlands with this. But if we look at the board right now, like mountains, 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 wetlands, like the biggest issues right now are the mountains and wetlands, so it really pro is not a bad idea to just do that right now. So let's do Talons of Lightning. I like that. And we have to forget something else. I want my defense. I feel like this is going to be less and less powerful going forward, but th this is probably the one I should forget, just because it's... I already can push so much stuff. I have so much movement. I'm going to just forget that one. And we're going to gain a minor power just for safety's sake. And wow, that's some pretty good stuff. Enticing Slender. I can just gather an explorer or town or gather up to two Dahan. Like, this is pretty good, but it has to be in a land without Blight. So, lands without Blight. So, one, two, three, all have Blight. One, two, have Blight. Oh, one, two, three, have Blight. This would be actually very hard to use. Um, just because of its restriction here. This is really good, though, because it gives me both of the things I want here, the sun and the uh, the air, and it's it will give me a refund on, on the cost because it's minus one. And one of us can extend our reach, and I think that's going to be really necessary going forward here. So I think this is a good one to get. Whoops. Whoa, that was for lightning? Whoops. Lightning switch strike, gain a minor power. Whoops. Okay, so this is for lightning. Whoops. Okay, well. Um, well. <laughs> Neither of these are really good for lightning, unfortunately. None of these are good for lightnings. I thought I chose the rock. Did I? did choose the wrong one. Thunder Speaker. We're gonna just do this and cheat because this is what it was. There we go. Reaching Grasp. There we go. I meant to do that. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna get five energy this turn and that would allow us to play almost any major power plus something else fairly safely. And because... Uh, how many card plays do we have? We have four card plays? I got unlocked four card plays. Um... I'll be able to play all my cards at once if I get a card that is three costing here. Because I'm just going to get rid of uh, of Raging Storm because it's very... It, like, this is not an energy efficient card at all because it's one damage to each invader. If there's a bunch of explorers, awesome! But the rest of the spirit is all about destruction, straight destruction. There's no other damaging powers. So unless we get lucky with our major power, like, this is just not worth it. So... 
Let's see what we get here for major powers. Well, <laughs> um, huh. If I don't take Pillar of Living Flame, I'm going to be very sad. Because it's fast. It's always fast. And it's up to... It could be 10 damage fast. It could be 10 damage fast. Is there any downside to this? I don't think there's any downside to this. The cost, obviously. It costs five. That's a lot of that's a lot of cost. Uh uh yeah, I'm definitely going with like if I don't take Pillar of the Living Flame, I'm gonna feel bad. And the spirits that are sending me a storm right now would be upset. So I'm gonna just do that. And we're gonna get rid of Raging Storm. Alright. So we're gonna play Talons of Lightning. And Thunder Speaker only gets two cards, card plays this time. We're Ravaging in Jungles, and it looks like we're fine here, uh, but we should probably try to get this defended so that we don't Ravage more. We only have two left on the healthy island here, and I, I do, I'm loath to let this go um, just because it's I already have so much Blight out. If I can some, if I can destroy things right now, that would be ideal. Uh, if we can get a fear card, that would be even better. And I'm probably gonna do that there. There we go. I like that. Yes, I, I, I like this. This is this is good because I, it will get me tons and tons of fear. Yeah, so we're going to just uh, kill all the things. We're going to um, fire, we're going to fire, we're going to fire, we're going to fire. We're going to, we're going to, we got to go fast. We're Sonic the Hedgehog. We got to go fast. I can just also destroy a town. Just straight up. Just, just kill a town. That's pretty great. And we'll hope for a, a fear card that can help us out in this jungle, because this jungle is going to be a problem. There's really nothing we can do. Okay. Finish playing cards. So first things first, I want to gather the warriors over here so I can see this land and uh, do that. So I'm going to gather one, two here, and Thunder Speaker special ability lets you follow with your own presence. And I will be able to push one of these over here and follow that there. Which will let me now play this here because again I need to target a land with Dahan, which now I do have Dahan here. So I'll defend for three there. And we're gonna Talons of Lightning somewhere. Where are we gonna Talons of Lightning? Oh yes! The coast with all the cities. It's gonna be great. Lots of fear already, and then we're gonna just murder things. One, two, three. One, two damage here. Oh, look at that. Goodbye. 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 Lots more fear. Give me that fear. juicy fear card. Juicy fear card. Look at that. That's great. That's great. All right. Now we're coming over here. Coming over here. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and use my Thundering Destruction, which lets me destroy a town at one distance. Uh, and we're just going to kill that. Kill that town. Get an extra fear. There we go. There we go. Uh, we're going to self-do that and make this fast. And I'm going to do a ton more fear right here. And deal five more damage, which is just the pillar of living flame. It's just, it's all dead. Everything's dead. So much for that city. You thought that they were fast. I'm faster. And why don't we push some Dahan into this land? Like that, and like that. I like that. The level, level of fear is palpable. So each player chooses a land, a different land with Dahan. Invaders take one damage per Dahan there. So again, I, I was banking on this helping me out uh, with land number one, and it, indeed it did. 
This would deal damage to the land, but because I can choose this, I can just deal one damage. So now this will not actually ravage the land. And why don't we do this here as well, because this will let me clear out this land a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. It's going to ping the explorers for one there. All right, it's going to kill both of them. Never mind. That's delightful. And what's the next one? Oh, defend two in all lands with spirits. That's great. I don't think it really helps all that much at this point, but meh. Meh. We do what we do. We do what we do. Again, I'm trying to go for a, a terror level three victory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Nick, this is uh, this is basically Noah, but uh, we do have a spirit that is literally the ocean that can just flood and tsunami things. So it's a good example, but definitely, definitely uh, more of a revelations-like thing here for sure. For sure. Okay, we're gonna have some problems in the sands this time. This is this is becoming a problem. But remember what I said about uh, lightning being great at being fast? Well, lightning's gonna be really great at being fast. We're gonna reclaim. We're gonna go for a zero costing uh, minor power or or a negative <laughs> negative. That's even better. Uh, or we could go with this. This has a flame. The reason why I'm doing this is because... Eh, get out of the way. I'm trying to go for this level uh, 4 and 8 here. So I need 4 flames. Uh, but I need to be able to play all my cards. Oh, I'll be able to play all my cards. Oh, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. This is going to be great. I'm going to murder things. Uh, this is probably definitely the option that I want to do because it's just two free damage wherever I want without a blight. Uh, which is good because two explorers show up and I can actually kill those two explorers. This is a good one, actually. I really like this one. Definitely taking that one. All right. Uh, and then we're going to just play out these ones because I want to. And do that. There we go. So I'll be able to, I'm powered up. Oh, I don't have, ooh. It might be better, nope. Okay, so the, what I'm what I'm vacillating on is like, I want to be able to destroy a city, but I don't think I really need to this turn because I have Pillar of Living Flame and it's gonna deal 10 damage. That city is gonna die. I think I should probably focus my efforts with my innate on something else, not not that, not that city. So I, I kind of like this right here. This is going to be a really really good play. And we're going to ravage in sands, and I could take out this entire land pretty easily. But also, I kind of want to get my no. I I, I need to do this. Because I, I just don't have the card plays. I want to be able to play three cards at a time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this right now. And this should let me play all of my cards because I'm gonna be able to have four energy. Yeah, I should be able to play all my cards. I want to play all three of these. So that will let me again. I want to play in lands with Dahan. Where are the Dahan? Okay, I need one right here. And I need one right here. I like that. There we go. And so I'll be able to play all three of my cards here. All right. I can block the build here. Oh, wow. I have a lot of options. I almost have too many options at this point. <laughs> is that, is that a, prob a good problem to have? I think so. Um, we're definitely going to finish playing cards, and let's do things fast here. Okay, so Pillar of Living Flame, most certainly going to happen here. And we're going to deal absolute crap ton of fear. That might be a full fear card. Yep, absolutely, it certainly is. And I love that the Han are like sitting here in this land, just being, just watching like this Pillar of Living Flame consume all the cities, and they're just like, okay. 
they don't flee. They're just like, they, they built there. <laughs> it's their own damn fault. All right. Uh, I can just destroy a town somewhere. I kind of need to destroy this town. But I kind of like the idea of just being able to do it here. I can just do that. Oh, I need two to hunt. Whoops, undo. Uh, per two to hunt. That's the thing here. It's for every two to hunt, there's only one to hunt. Can't kill that town. I need to gather this one in first. Although... Why don't we give... Reaching grasp to good old homeboy over here. Let's uh, gather. We're gonna gather the warriors right here. And we're gonna gather that one. We're gonna gather that one. And we're gonna bring both of our loving presences along with it. Uh, the question was, so what does each color tablet represent? Uh, the tablet, uh, these are the individual lands in the on the island. So this uh, orange one is sands, we have mountains, we have jungles, and we have wetlands. The, the only thing that these really do is for targeting. And also when this deck uh, goes through, it tells us where, what the invaders will do. So Right now we know that they're going to ravage in the sands, so we want to prevent the damage there, or kill them before they can do it. Uh, then they're going to build in jungles, so if there's even a single white piece in uh, a jungle, it's going to build a town or a city. So basically it'll build a town, and if there's already a town there, it will build a city. It won't replace the, city, the town, it just builds a city. Think about each round of this game like an entire generation of people, like 80 years. And so... There's a lot of things that can happen in 80 years. A whole city can spring out of nowhere. So um, that's the, the idea with this. All right, I don't want to push those. So now we're going to... Um, manifestations of Power Glory right here. So we're going to kill all this stuff. Oh, and yeah, this the uh, ocean right here is where invaders come from. So whenever they explore, they always explore it from oceans or from other towns. That's the idea there. All right, so I have a lot of options. I already did Pillar of the Living Flame here. Can I kill everything? I might be able to kill everything. Remember, I gave Reaching Grasp, which gives a target spirit plus two to all their uh, range to all their powers. So I can target almost anything on the board with this. If I kill all towns this turn, I win. I believe I can. So I have to target a land without blight. So this this is the only one with a town that doesn't have blight. So I'm gonna go one, two. And then I'm gonna wait for it. Oh, I can push this. But I don't wanna push it. I have to push it. Um and that's the downside. If it says push up to one explorer, you can choose. But if it says push, you have to. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Uh, is it possible to start a civil war without lifting a finger? Yes. And that's in one of the expansion spirits, which is awesome. It's all about uh, dealing what's called strife. And it literally causes a civil war. And you can there's a card that lets you just deal... Allow the invaders to fight. Uh, one of the innate powers of, I think, my favorite expansion spirit is called Grinning Trickster. Uh, and his innate power is called, Why don't you and them fight? And it's just like eight different powers that allow things to fight on the board. And it's hilarious. I love it. Uh, I, I really can't wait for that content to be added to the digital version because I will be playing a lot of Trickster because it's hilarious. There's a lot of really fun stuff with that one. The whole uh, Jagged Earth expansion to this game is bonkers. It's ridiculous. I was a playtester for it, and it was like all of the spirits in there do something super goofy and fun. Yes, it's Loki, literally. One of his uh, special rules is actually, uh, if you ever try to remove Blight, 
it's not good for you because you're you get bored <laughs> so it's you, you you don't want to cause too much blight because it's hard to remove it for you because you're you're loki you're literally loki all right so i need to push a land I, again i don't think this matters because i think i've just won the game here so shatter homesteads again i'm gonna i can target either one of these and i think i'm just gonna target this one and kill that town and again the terror victory if i kill all towns and cities i win and so if i well i don't need the lightning spoon really anymore i uh, i can just destroy this town and that's all of them and there we go that's no buildings on the island that's the game over so for those of you watching at home like this is a perfect example of why thunder speaker and i uh, lightning swift strike are just broken on this scenario it's you can do things so fast and kill things so easily that it's like i never felt on a back foot I, there was a, like i put out a lot of blight but it was not hurtful for me at all so it was it was excellent we were just at one, yeah it was it was very very good so if you're watching on youtube Thank you very much for watching. If you can, like and subscribe the video. If you're watching, you can follow and subscribe on my Twitch channel because I'm an affiliate now. It's great. Uh, but you don't have to. Just like the content if you do. And if you don't, go enjoy someone else. It's going to be great. Like, it's we're all friends here. This is this is extrovert therapy. It's just getting our uh, COVID out. You know, not, no, we don't want to do that. Don't, do, don't get your COVID out. Keep your COVID in. That's why we're here. That's why, I, that's why I'm here. I'm not, I don't know. That's, I'm saying some really weird things. I do not have COVID. I'm fine. But I am an extrovert and I'm stuck inside and it's not good. So I'm here with you. Thank you very much for being here.